So we're here at Mobile World Congress 2018. Um, and uh, here we have the, the Vuzix AR glasses, right? Yeah, that's correct, Nicholas. And uh, you're just about to manufacture. Right, in fact, there's a lot been happening over the last year since the, in fact, we met right over here one year ago, yeah. actually, as I recall. And these guys now are getting ready to, to launch on the world. In fact, we've started the shipping to key developer programs already. And we're, over the, this first quarter, we're starting to clank, crank up our production plant floor. And coming into the second quarter, they'll start moving out in, in volume. Uh, can, can you be wearing these? So these are clear? You have a sunglasses mode and a clear kind of mode? Yeah, in point of fact, when they're turned off, that literally you look through these things and it's like looking through a regular pair of glasses. When you turn them on, maybe you get a text message that comes in, boom, they wake up and it looks like the heads up display you might have on a fighter pilot's cockpit or in a high-end car, but it's really cool because it's in your sunglasses, right? And there's a eight megapixel camera that sits over here so it can record the real world. If you look on the bottom side of this thing really quick, this is a compact flash slot, so you can put, um, extra memory in there, up to 64 gigabytes, so you can record hours and hours of HD video. The other piece that's cool about this is micro USB slot. If you got a heavy use case where you are recording hours and hours and hours of heavy duty use, you can plug an external battery into this thing, put it in your pocket. If you want to, Wi-Fi. So you have a couple hours or? It'll run with a two hours on its own. You, you don't need, the, the batteries are in the temples here in the backside. And with these guys, you can run for two hours of watching videos, recording HD videos, periodic Pokemon Go kinds of stuff. There's sensors in here so it knows where you're looking in space. So literally, we've got some applications in the other room where you're in the middle of a, of a, fire, of a firefight. Coming at you are these cubes trying to kill you. <laughs> and you just turn and look and shoot them as if you're you know, sitting in the middle of the game, as it were. Those same sensors can be used to do things like Pokemon Go or with the GPS in your phone, help you find directions walking down the street and it just comes up in the HUD. Sensors. Sensors, yep, there's there's gyros, accelerometers, magnetic field sensors. So the software, the computer that runs in here, it's a quad core CPU, it knows where you're looking in space. It knows if you, your head is uh, flat or it, it knows, looking down it or? It knows if you're looking up, down, north, south, east, west. Between that and your GPS coordinate, you can say, where's directions to the Thai restaurant? And it'll say in the HUD, 500 feet, hang a right in the next street corner. The other so, thing is these are Alexa enabled, Amazon Alexa. So you can ask these glasses all kinds of cool skills that Alexa knows, and it just works through the glasses. So this is really a device that's a collision between AR and AI. It doesn't have to just run Alexa. It's got hooks in it so you can tie other AI engines into it, as you might imagine. But um, the option for Alexa will come with it out of the gates. Could you do Google Voice too, Google you, Assistant? We're working on that with our friends at Google as Because we speak. it's running Android, so yep, exactly. you have all these challenges to get it into mass production, of course, which I'm sure you are far in, in the process of doing. But then there's all these challenges of getting cool apps for it, Yes. Google applications, and I guess you have lots of things going on there too, right? Yes, we're building an ecosystem around this already. The, like I said, the first folks that are getting these are folks that are in that developer community, and there's a boatload of them that have purchased them from Vuzix. <coughs> Excuse me, our app store is being updated and upgraded so that it works with these guys out of the gates at the same time. Yeah, uh, so uh, app, because of course, I was, and you were probably excited too when uh, Sergey Brin was hyping up the whole idea, but they never put it in the store. So I really hope you, you're you definitely going to put this in every store, right? You're gonna, Nicholas, people are going to be able the, to buy these. People are going to be able to buy these. I, at a good price. At a good price. I, w I will say that in the enterprise, Vuzix has two businesses that we sell to today. One of them is the enterprise space, from picking parts out of warehouses to doing field service applications to stacking shelves even. There's a big pile of companies that want to use these things in those applications. And now that they look like this, any place where the average Joe walks in and sees somebody wearing it, this is the, this is the device of choice that people want to use. So the enterprise side of our business is really kind of the focus where we are to begin with, but I can't tell you the number of okay. end users that want to own these things. Whether it's help on, your golf, on the golf course to just using them during the day. And so yes, these will be available to the average user. I'm sure you'll see some relationships with companies like Amazon will be sold through their systems and the conventional distribution channels around the world. Because I was a little bit hoping that it was going to be maybe something like $500, but it's going to start higher, right? So what's going to happen, 
you'll see this thing go in two directions. There's going to be more of a push in enterprise for one that has a higher end camera, that has more uh, safety oriented glasses built into it so that they can be actually safety glasses in their own right, et cetera. And that'll probably come up a scotch in price. And then there's a version coming that will be more focused on the consumer side that will be in the price points that you'd like to see. And so the screen is right here, visible right here. Can you try to explain uh, what's the quality of this uh, micro display compared to what's available in the market? Like, is this like, uh, it can't be imagined to be better. There's so many people that put this on. So the display that we're using doesn't look like separate pixels. It looks like one giant pixel, but individually addressable. So you don't see that screen door effect people talk about. So many people look at this and say, is this HD? even though it's not an HD display. What it is though is it's like your phone in a 16 by 9 format, so it's this way. Is it uh, 854 by 480 or something like that? It's a wide VGA display yeah. configured this way. So when you look inside the display, you can put you know, a big pile of stuff up, up and down in this long. portrait style. Nice. Yes. That said, the base, the core OS, the way it is when you first turn it on, we use a, we use a chunk of that that allows you to move it up and down where you put the imagery. So the, the base desktop, you can have it low on your vision, you can have it high on your vision, or right in the center based upon what you're doing. So if you're running down the street, let's say jogging, you probably want it a little bit high or maybe low on your vision, not in the center of your vision, right in the way all the time. Right? So you can adjust that. Those are all selectable kinds of things. So of course the Amazon Go store is pretty fun and it sounds like a fun kind of thing, yes. but I would like to see every person getting into the store, getting one of those on, and uh, getting an augmented shopping experience in the supermarket. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> and will you see that first is the guy that actually is doing the picking so that when you go by the store, you just pick it up or when it gets hand delivered, it's folks that are doing exactly that. You give it to the guy who picks out of the store, grocery stores. The guy's walking around in the store, he's filling the shopping cart for somebody else and it gets shipped to his house. That's going to be for everybody in the end though. And it's going to be for everywhere. With Amazon Alexa, you can imagine walking in someplace, holding something up in front of the glasses and say, you know, I'd love to own this. Can I put it on my Amazon account, please? The camera's rolling. Yeah. Amazon comes up. You bet. $5.95. Yeah. I'll ship it. You'll have it tomorrow. And in the ear, it should say, come on, you should get the soya milk. Is it healthier <laughs> right. for you? Or no. come on, you should get the, you know, yes. like the, get the, the more vegetables. You didn't get enough vegetables. You know, like kind of like uh, guiding you a little bit. I'm Based on your profile, yes. you know? yeah. and then you have to, uh, when you exit the store, there's an alarm because you forget to take it off and you have to give it back, sadly. Or you could just say, I, I want to keep it, and it charges five ninety nine on your account. Correct. Right? Yes, exactly. Yep. I mean, there's so many ideas, right? Is Android and the AR core potentially is launching here. That would help you too? That, the Nicholas, augmented that's, reality? That's why they talk about, you, know, you, you listen to the folks over at Apple. AR is going to change the world. It's a category in its own right. It's not an accessory to a phone. This is a new device that will change the way everything works. Those things that you're talking about, it's tip of an iceberg on the kinds of things that you'll be able to do with these kinds of devices. Networking with people yes. at conferences or it, just in the street. The number of times people come up to me here even that they've seen me before and I'm like, I don't remember them, yeah. right? The glasses, that's Frank. He works for The Verge or whatever it might yeah. be, right? Boom. Exactly. So next few months, you put them in the store, it's going to sell like hotcakes, right? The, uh, the next year and a half, it's going to be amazing. This is the beginnings of changing the world.